An economic collapse of biblical proportion resulting in cashless society. Cash to soon be illegal with the excuse that it carries viruses. This is the next stage in the globalist plan. Digital currency. They can control it. Track it. And most importantly, take it away from you in the blink of an eye. This pandemic is working like a charm for the globalists. The global elites are building their one world currency system and one world government right in front of your face and openly admitting to it. You're screwed either way. Have the money in the bank, risk a banking holiday, or them freezing your funds. Have cash on hand. They'll tell you it's a spreader of the virus. Pure genius in trying to ban cash. Using the virus as an excuse. Can't store cash under the mattress in case of bail-ins. This is the new America unfolding. Order out of chaos. The quickest way to bring about chaos is bombarding the population with decisions, scenarios, catastrophic events, rights violations, monetary instability, and quite possibly food supply. This virus is a curtain to cover up all the government is doing, but we are peeking and seeing it all. Digital currency is how they will change us off the petrodollar. Say hello to one world currency and new world order. It's all about skimming. All taxes will be collected on every digital transaction. They will even eliminate the IRS, and the people will cheer only to pay even more with digital tax collection. Right now, less than 5% of US dollars in circulation is in the form of bills. The rest is electronic. The swamp wants a cryptocurrency like the Bitcoin, so they would be able to track transactions regardless of each bank's privacy policy. The swamp wants it to control the elite to prevent any chance of a revolution. Please remember that all electronic currency writing the blockchain requires internet to use for a platform of exchange from one party to another, whether government, corporation, or person. Each person will be required to offer up their biometrics to access the internet to buy and sell on the blockchain in the very near future. Thus fulfilling Revelation chapter 13. The hideous beast is rising out of the sea. This is what the last days is supposed to look like. We're there. This is getting to the point where we will all have a chip implanted, and we can scan our wrist to pay. If only everyone would go into the banks and clean out their accounts like they do supermarkets and watch how quickly the banks will close because they haven't got any money. And see how much of a scam the global economy really is that is purely based on debt. With this current situation, the governments are dishing out trillions of dollars, yet one has to question, where exactly are the banks getting all this money from? What I want to know is when markets crash with billions of dollars, where does all this money go? It can't just disappear. It has to go somewhere. Otherwise, that money and values never existed to begin with. We are at a dark and historic turning point. And things are going to get worse. I got wind of a person with inside info of the government mandating a nationwide shutdown along with a closure of the stock market next week, this whole justice department. The Department of Justice has no interest in justice. Its interest is in control, total, boot on your throat control. How are we ever going to have a one world government without a global crisis that necessitates centralized authoritarian controls? Problem reaction solution. Like they have always said, never let a crisis go to waste. This will change everything. It will never be the same. Welcome to the new world order. They are bringing in the mark of the beast. Without the mark, you can't buy or sell. That's the plan, but they underestimate their enemy. The globalists are attempting to sell us on slavery by packaging it as free markets. The solution is to not use the systems they promote and be ready to fight tooth and nail for real decentralization. Force the slowdown, or you will become an even bigger slave than you already are. When the endgame of the usurious fiat scam system we now live under plays itself out, we must not allow them to chain us all into any world, crypto, cashless, baseless monetary system. We must fight tooth and nail against the implementation of this evil idea. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. Please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels. I do upload videos there, too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you. Everything is speeding up, and it's amazing to see that people don't even see this how the storm is here and it's going to get really really bad. People do desperate things during desperate times. Got news for you, the world is on edge, and we are just at the beginning. If you haven't prepared yourself, do so now, with what little is left. 
Only the people who believe everything is still fine will be the ones who suffer in the end. It never mattered who you voted for, red team or blue team. There is only one team. So long as the central banks are in control. Welcome to the machine. We are now beyond the Orwellian world and into the twilight zone. Socialist and nanny state governments desperately need electronic-only currencies. All they do is drive commerce underground and create black markets, thus the need to eliminate cash in order to make sure they get their tax money to spend on running their massive government business. Understand you can never have a private transaction with anything outside hard money. Cash and hard money, equal privacy, and safety. Digital equals all transactions recorded, and your stored capital always easy to confiscate if you are found to be socially bad. The elites feel a need to be the third party in every transaction. Most young people have no grasp of these concepts. I try to explain it whenever I have the chance. All they see in digital banking is convenience. The elites are at war with us. Facebook takes your privacy. Governments take your rights. Banks take your money. Corporations take your jobs. I'm just another worn out tonsil telling people this. Our politicians are just proxies for their donors' desires. Guaranteed if the money changers think a cashless society is a good idea. It is just another tool to further enrich the elites and impoverish the remaining 99% of the population. Cashless means digital. Ones and zeros. Nothing you will ever hold in your hand or give to another without the electronic means to do so. You will be totally dependent on the crypto blockchain to determine your balance, and with no dollar to gauge it against, you will have to gauge it against the goods or other things you use it for. And it is gone. Watch the movie Elysium if you want a glimpse of your dystopian future. Spoiler, you ain't included with the elite living on the orbiting space utopia. The elite are insatiably greedy psychopaths that have already stolen most of the global assets for themselves. It doesn't seem coincidental that cryptocurrency surfaces just as faith in fiat dries up. By analogy, I'm reminded of a matador sent out to distract a bull in an arena, to keep it from escaping while compatriots frantically shut gates left open. Satoshi Nakamoto seems to be a complex and strategically ambiguous enigma, hardly some dude. The fact that nobody really knows where the hell this stuff came from is telling. And the sheer variety popping up practically overnight might be recognized as deliberate seeding, garden style, to see what thrives and what doesn't, and why. I have yet to find an apologist who can explain cryptocurrency satisfactorily in any way that eliminates its potential for weaponization. The dollar collapse will be replaced by a government bit, which will, of course, be worth dimes on the dollar. Thereby accelerating the gap between the middle class and ultra-wealthy. How we conduct our transactions is a sideshow to what we have left of our current currency balances. The future will be mostly cashless. It's now a race to the next new reserve digital currency. My bet is on China being the forefront of it all. With 1.3 billion ready users, it will inevitably overshadow the rest. Whatever currency the government approves should be avoided like the plague. Blockchain is basically a ledger, and one day a ledger will list everything you have on behalf of the banks and the state. Non-citizenship will occur with the press of the button. Australia is the canary in the coal mine they will make cash transactions over a certain amount illegal then lower that amount time after time until there is no cash. Your ledger will, of course, be subject to negative interest rates and will probably like everything else be ultimately the Federal Reserve's property. You have to analyze these things from a signals and systems perspective. When you send an impulse through a system, you understand the behavior of the system with respect to an immediate or impulsive change, a shock. India proved to be the first data point in modeling what a nation with 1 billion plus people behaves like. As the USA is soon approaching that number, it was important for the powers to test it on a gullible enough population where cash is still king. That was the real reason behind the demonetization effort of India at the end of 2016. The impulse to the economic system, a temporary elimination of cash while the government rolled out new denominations and replacement banknotes, announced over national television over the course of an hour, resulting in quite the response of at least two months of economic what the wickedness. A part of that impulse response was that necessity is the mother of all invention aspect of trying to transact without cash. 
Fortunately for the powers and the masses, surprise, surprise, the cashless transfer system and app called Paytm happened to exist and somehow magically be ready to scale its usage from the ones of millions to the one hundreds of millions level. How convenient and commendable of their foresight, huh? The economic, social, and cultural, behavioral response of a cashless system impulse, though not advertised as such, has been extensively modeled and studied by researchers paid by the powers, I am sure. The cash ban converts humans into livestock. If you're useful or make your owner happy, you'll get fed. Otherwise, we must never accept a cash ban under any circumstances. New viruses arrive every day. More than one half million die yearly from the flu. COVID-19 is a smokescreen, behind which they take away our freedom and independence. Email your congressman, talk to friends, encourage them to do the same, stand up, and speak your mind. There are good people in government and even banks, but living in an echo chamber is not conducive to good decisions. Let them hear. If they are allowed to suspend the constitution, you will never get it back. I don't think you have it now. Just like the globalists censor and ban everyone whose opinions differ from their online currently. They will do the same in a cashless society. They will freeze your assets, steal your credits, and ban you from doing business if you dare to think for yourself and have your own opinions. A cashless society during a power, internet outage, fire, hack, EMP, would be as bad as if nuclear bombs hit a few American cities. Going cashless adds risk. To counter the risk, additional measures must be taken. These additional measures are the real goal of eliminating cash. Unless you have gold and silver, bullets, booze, and cigarettes will become tender also in that scenario. Even toilet paper will be money. It is well enough that people of the nation do not understand our banking and monetary system, for if they did, I believe there would be a revolution before tomorrow morning. Said Henry Ford. The social credit score will soon follow. Orwell is saying from his grave, I warned you. I want chips with dip. Not in my hand. I can't wait for the government to limit what I can do with my money. Gun control for starters. Food control. Everything control. Rationing, carbon footprint control. Social score control. On and on. A revolt will ensure, or will the sheeple accept their fate? Are you worried yet? I am. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like. Share subscribe and please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels i do upload videos there too you'll find the links in the description box you will also find a paypal link if you want to make a small donation thank you